Hey guys, today we'll talk about how to overcome breakup. Although a painful breakup may cause you to think that life is over, the world doesn't stop because your relationship ended. You'll need to figure out how to carry on your daily activities, including work, even when your heart feels broken. So here there are some tips how to overcome this pain and start a new chapter in your life. Guys, according to YouTube policy, 18 plus content can't be promoted or monetized. I'm doing this for free just to raise the level of sexual education, because someone has to talk about all of those topics loudly. So please like and subscribe, it's not that hard, and I will appreciate it a lot. Think about your breakup as a physical injury. Try to give yourself the same grace when healing from having your heart broken that you would if you were experiencing a medical issue. Crying, headaches, sleep problems, exhaustion, loss of appetite or increase in appetite are quite common when you are stressed. Try vitamins that help with mood stabilizing. Try melatonin or other natural sleeping aids. Make sure you eat several times per day, no matter if you have the appetite or not. If your body suffers the same way as your heart, you will feel way worse, so try to help it. And the next step is refresh your living space. Move your furniture around, buy some new art, or paint your room in a different color. You should put away any physical reminders of your ex. Things he or she bought you or that you bought together. So the goal is to create a fresher, less memory-soaked space for you. So you can consider moving to another apartment or make some changes in your current space. Give yourself permission to feel your feelings. Identify and acknowledge every time you have a painful memory. Then make an effort to move on from it and make it a part of your past, not your present. Don't be afraid to cry. While you do need to feel your emotions in order to heal them, it's also essential that you balance that with not spending all time obsessing over negative events from the past. Don't ever live in your past. Live in future or in present moment. Give yourself 10 or 20 minutes to feel whatever you are feeling without any judgment, but then come back to other things you do for yourself and come back to your normal activities. And the next one, engage in lots of self-care. Each day do something that brings you joy. So see friends, have a new experience, spend time on your favorite hobby. Uh, so do some exercises, meditate, cook a satisfying but healthy meal. It all helps you to process your feelings. So make an art or make music or write a journal, talk to the therapist or other support person. Try mindfulness meditation. Find 5 to 10 minutes every morning to sit, breathe and stay in the present moment. Meditation can help with the stress, improve blood flow, reduce anxiety and simply help you become more comfortable with the floor of your own thoughts. Invest in yourself. The longer you spend in a romantic relationship, the more your sense of identity melts with theirs. This is why the best and the most important advice on the planet is to invest in rebuilding your personal identity. Focus double on work. Start the new project you've been putting off for months. Get checked if you have any health conditions. Spend some time at the spa, get a massage, go to the sauna. Your body will be grateful as well as your mind. Change your wardrobe, change your hairstyle, spend some money on yourself and become the person that you will admire looking at the mirror. Write letters to your ex, but don't send them. Write down how you feel, how the breakup is affecting you and anything you would like to tell to that person. Do it weekly, if you want, so you can record how your emotions are shifting as time goes on and you start to get over the breakup. Talk, share and reach out. Whether you reach out to friends or seeking a professional support, you need to share. For some, using a journal to get their emotions down on paper can be a good first step. 
Talking about it to yourself or someone else is the only way to analyze and learn from this relationship and learn from your mistakes. If you have lost touch with some of your friends because of getting caught in your relationship or because of the pandemic, you can reach back out and own your mistake if you need to. So having the support and love of your family and friends will help you to overcome negative emotions after the breakup. Accept every social invitation. Socializing, even when you don't want to, gives you a change of scenery, the opportunity to meet someone new, and a reason to put on pants and wash your hair after all. Many times we don't want to go out, but then once we are there, we remember how much we enjoyed it. So post breakup, your brain is craving those feel good chemicals that you used to get from spending time with your other half. So get out and relax, laugh a little and spend some time with people who make you happy. Go no contact with your ex. Take time away from them. Yes, that means removing them from social media, getting rid of any physical reminders and blocking them if necessary. You don't want to deal with potential mixed signals. So posting things your ex will see or hear about through mutual friends in order to elicit jealousy, show them how great you are doing, causes you prioritize them. So no contact rule has proved to be the fastest and the most effective way to put the attention back on yourself. So knowing what they're up to will not help you to move on. Exceptions for limiting contact need to be made, of course, especially if you are currently living together or sharing a pet or sharing child. And of course, don't ever hook up with them. So it's nearly impossible to sever the tie between you and your ex if you are still physically connecting with them. Be in your body and reconnect to nature. Exercise releases natural endorphins that can help you to physically feel better. So you are not as much in your head thinking about your ex. If you have never had a fitness regime before now, that's okay. It's never too late to start. You may want to watch sad movies and spend the whole day in your bed, but literal change in your environment can help shift your thoughts uh, to some positive thoughts. So go outside. Fresh air and sunlight give you a dose of vitamin D, which helps to improve your mood. Travel and explore new places. Don't rush into the dating game too soon. Take some time to process what happened and where things went wrong and what you are planning to do different next time. While meeting new people can be a great way to realize that there are plenty more fish in the sea, you don't want to be sobbing about your ex over drinks with a new date. So don't pressure yourself to meet someone until you are really excited about it. So there is difference between excitement and desperation. Desperation is feeling alone and incomplete without dating someone, like you need to be with someone to be happy. Excitement is being excited to discover what's out there and feeling fine regardless of what happens next. And the next one is don't generalize and don't compare. Not every guy is like the one you just broke up with. And not every relationship will be like that one, especially if you learn how to move on in a healthy way by learning from your mistakes. Your previous relationship broke up for a reason. So open your mind and look for a new kind of relationship that will be not only different, but a way better than the one you had before. Forgive the past. Breakups usually fill people with regret and anger. You are constantly thinking about what else you could have done. The more you think about it, the more you get pulled into the vortex. So every time you replay an event or conversation, it would cause the regret and anger. Plan a solo adventure to create new memory. So after spending time as a couple, it's hard to learn how to be single again. Of course, you don't have to plan an entire experience, but you should be able to plan something for yourself and get used to the idea of spending time alone and enjoy it. 
Whether that means going on a hike in the mountains or going to the festival or concert or checking out a new restaurant or planning a short getaway, the key is that you get used to spending time by yourself. Create new memories of your own that are not tied with your ex. Rediscover old interests. What did you love doing before this relationship or when you were a teenager? So this is a powerful way to move on since it allows you to re-establish your own identity outside of the relationship. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time in Bed with Kate.